Miss Bryant, how are you doing? For years, Doreen Bryant wore compression stockings for varicose veins. The veins, you know, just getting bigger. So I knew I needed to do something. Hopefully, it will decrease some of this venous pressure down here in your leg. She turned to vascular surgeon Dr. Brad Grimsley to take care of the troublesome veins. And that'll become smaller and smaller over the next six weeks. Varicose veins occur when blood pools in the veins closest to the skin. The veins can appear blue, twisted, and bulging. Patients mainly complain of heaviness and uh, swelling about the area of their ankle. Other symptoms include achiness, night cramps, knots of veins, changes in skin color, and even sores. The most serious thing is the clotting. Once you get clotting one time, it sets you up for more clotting in the future. So it's a continuous over and over type inflammation and pain about the area. The muscles in the legs and the veins work together to pump blood back to the heart. This process doesn't work right in varicose veins that are stretched and weak. The valves that prevent the reflux of blood back down into the leg, they've given way. And they've given way to the point where these veins that should not be enlarged are now enlarged and they've dilated. There are several things that increase risk of developing varicose veins, such as a family history, being overweight, lack of exercise, smoking, and standing or sitting for long periods of time. Some patients find relief from varicose veins by wearing compression stockings, a habit doctors encourage even after treatment. When patients need more intervention, vascular surgeons may recommend sclerotherapy, chemical injections into the veins. Vein stripping, a surgical procedure that ties off the vein branches and removes veins through incisions, or newer procedures, such as ablation. Nowadays, with our modern, uh, more non-invasive or minimally invasive techniques for dealing with veins in the office, and most importantly for working people, is no downtime. I typically will tell patients after the procedure, let's get right back to your normal activities. And that's how it went for patient Doreen Bryant. It's not nothing to be afraid of, really. It's a blessing <laughs> to be able to get it done. Ask your doctor about your risks for vascular disease. Visit vascularweb.org to find a vascular specialist and learn more about vascular wellness.